Hey guys, Dave here. Today on Steel Euphoria, we've got something from Case. Boys, this is a Case XX Humpback Whittler. One of my all-time favorite patterns. I'm just super stoked to be uh, to be bringing this one to you today. This one actually came in uh, came in hot off the truck last night. My better half surprised me with this one. Um, I had no idea it was coming. I had no idea she had found one of these, uh, but she uh, she worked her magic and uh, got me this beautiful gift here. So happy to bring this one to you today. This is uh, three and five eighths inches closed, and this particular version has a nice, comfortable overall weight of 2.5 ounces. Just a beautiful humpback stockman. This one is called Marigold. It's a uh, Clearly, it's a yellow knife. If you folks are a fan of the yellow, this is going to be right up your alley. If you're not a fan of the yellow, you might want to pass on this guy. But I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Just not a uh, not a not a color you see all the time, especially in a in a bone. You see their yellow Delrin uh, quite often but just not something you see in the in the bone scales. You see this has a beautiful case bomb shield there. That yellow next to those nickel silver bolsters, brass pins just looks absolutely stunning. So let's take a look at this guy. Let's see how they did on the uh on the back springs and the liners. Everything looks nice and tight, nice and comfortable. Very well done. No major gaps at all to speak of. Just an absolute gorgeous guy. Anyway, let's open her up here and uh, see how she looks. No half stops on that. Nice and smooth. Strong pull and an absolutely wonderful snap. Boy, beautiful snap. Beautiful tension on that guy. On that main blade, that spear blade there, you see a beautiful swedge grind up top and this one is limited edition one of three thousand i've always said that's not super limited so these are out there uh they're out there to be had you just gotta you gotta go on the hunt to find them Let's see if i can get a shot of the stampings here that's your case stamping long tail long tail c case xx Looks like you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dot. Again, the snap on this beauty. Boy, just wonderful. Wonderful snappy action. Absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. Let's see how she closes for us. Beautiful snap down to the down to the closed position. Really, really nice. You see there on the back side, they do have a cutout for that third spade blade. We'll get to that fella here shortly. But it just makes it everything sit nice and even and flush in there in the pocket. But let's take a look at that second blade. Got our beautiful sheep's foot there with a wonderful snap on her as well. You'll have to excuse the oil. She's had an oil bath this morning. So we thought we'd give her a drink. Keep her lubed up, keep her nice and happy. You see that beautiful spade blade there. You see a little bit of rub on the tip there, which is indicative of a, a lot of stockmans I've had over the years from Case. You're going to get a little rub there. You got three or four blades packed in to that two spring design. Just a beautiful knife. Just an absolute pleasure to have this one in my pocket today. Let's take a look at the the stampings there on that sheep's foot you get a better shot of her you got your usa 63046 of course your six is going to be for your bone your three is going to be for the number of blades in the pattern and the 46 is going to be the 046 so your 46 humpback stockman pattern or you can use the 46 for the uh the Whittler as well. They're, they're both going to have the same body on them. And you see this one is uh, stainless steel. Stamped SS. So it is going to be in cases true sharp stainless steel. Has our closing action on that fella. Nice and snappy. 
just wonderful. You see how they fit all those three blade design again in the two spring pattern. Really nice stock on those, really nice grinds. And like I said, let's take a look at this little spade blade here. How's she doing? Is she lazy? No, she's got wonderful snap on her as well. Just wonderful. And you see the SS Air Course Figure stainless steel blades. Like the missus says, stainless steel blade, you don't have to worry about them. You don't have to oil them up. You don't have to keep them clean. You don't have to worry about them rusting. Just a really nice little spade blade on there. How's our closing action on that? You usually end up with a a lazy spade blade here here and there. So we're going to check the action on this one. Just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Again, a look at those marigold bone scales with what looks like some, uh, some corn cob jigging in there almost. Corn cob or peach seed, one or the other. I'm... <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm not 100% sure without the old glasses on. Got a little bit of pepper going on in there. Everything's nice and tight. Everything's nice and flush. No chips, no cracks in there. Again, bomb shield. Bomb shield from Case. Like I said, one of 3,000. So there's not a huge number of these out there for collectors, but there's a good amount of them. Um, if I'm going to say something's limited, I'm going to say it's something under 100, 100 or below. That's more what I would call a limited edition. Uh, those can be tough to find, but when you have 3,000 of these guys made, they're out there, guys. They're out there to be had. So if you're looking for a yeller, a yeller bone handle, a humpback, this is going to be a great option for you. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around, and until next time.